what's up guys hey it is on and i'll be showing you how i do my uh retouching in photoshop and in four simple steps i'm going to show you how y'all can turn this picture into this and yeah guys let's get into it all right guys so the first thing we're going to start out with is our camera raw filter so right here we're going to be selected on this uh the player subject right here we're going to go up to filter and camera raw filter and i'm going to show you all just some settings i typically use they vary of course because it looks different pictures look better with different settings but I typically boost my contrast uh, contrast uh, rate uh, lower my highlights I'll mess with the shadows see what looks good and then I'll turn out my whites texture up and then clarity up about right there and then we're gonna go down to detail we'll turn up some sharpening We'll turn up some noise reduction. All right, there. Color mixer. This is where we're gonna start messing with, with the skin right here. You can see we can go yellow, we can go red, and I like to go more of a reddish tone on the skin color, something like that, right? And even what you can do is you can turn down the saturation of this skin right here if you just click over here where it says saturation. So we're actually gonna turn it down just a bit. And then we're gonna go over to our, um, we're just gonna press OK right here. So you can see this before and after with the camera already, already huge difference. Next we're gonna add this new layer right here. And then on our new layer, we're gonna right click, create clipping mask, right? We're gonna click B, we're gonna be on our brush. Make sure our hardness is at 100, flow at 100. And we're gonna go over here and you can see we have this black color right here. We're just gonna, where it says this B right here, we're gonna type in 50 okay and <coughs> what's gonna happen is if we just paint on it just paints gray on our layer and we're gonna go click overlay so it has no effect right you can't really you can't see then we're gonna go over here to this magnifying tool right here this is the dodge and burn so we're gonna go down to our burn tool right and once we're on our burn tool right here you can mess with this your burn tool is gonna affect your shadows so you can see if I paint in here it's gonna really affect those shadows so we can go this will mess with the harshness of it. We'll, we'll stick around 90 for now and see how that looks. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna hit all of these shadows right here. Another thing I like to do guys is just go over these tattoos as well, make these tattoos really pop. All right, there we go, guys. We're done with using our burn tool. We're just getting a little bit more right here, but yeah, we're done with using our burn tool. We're gonna right click right here, select our dodge tool, and this is gonna be our highlights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put us at about 20, and all these highlights on his forehead right here, or on his face. Really, this is uh, not just for the face. You wanna hit it at other places as well, but it is big. Like, you definitely wanna hit the face a lot, because this is what's gonna give him kind of a that cartoony look that's kind of popular and designed right now and it's gonna give him this sort of look right here as you can see so we're just gonna hit all in his neck right here all of these little highlights uh, we'll hit his shoulder right here where he's highlighted over here uh, we can hit right here and there you can see all that right there that big difference when we apply that Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, this jersey. You can see if we zoom in, we have sort of some greens and other colors in here. So what we're gonna do is right click this half circle, gradient map, and then we're gonna change this left side, the shadows, we're gonna make it black. It's just gonna be black and white gradient map. We can clipping mask that again, and we're gonna press Control I. Okay, we're gonna be in our brush tool, and we're gonna be on the color white, and if we just color this in, you can see we're just painting in white and black the gradient. All 
Alright guys, and there we go. We're done with our gradient map on the jersey right here. Alright, I'm going to actually go through one more thing with you guys. Uh, what we're going to go through is highlights. I'm going to show you highlights because it's not very hard. I get a lot of people asking me how you do highlights on players. So I'm just going to show you real quick. So let's say we have a highlight back here, a red highlight. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to create an adjustment layer, hue and saturation, colorize, and we're going to clipping mask that as well. And we'll turn it up to where it's about the same <coughs> as our uh, glow back there. Then we're going to put on linear dodge edge, add actually. So, you know, right here looks pretty good. So we're going to press control I. Now for this one, what we're going to do is turn our flow down to about 9 and our hardness all the way down. Make sure we're on our white brush. And what we're going to do is we're just going to paint in all around the outsides. And then some, we're also going to paint in, uh, you see like down here on this jersey, we're going to paint in like that, right? So basically, all we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to hit the outsides just like this. Alright guys, here we go, this is the basic uh, idea, you know, highlights can get more intricate than this, normally I'll have more layers, and even on the player treatment, I just kind of did the basics for you guys, because, uh, you know, this is just a big improvement, it's easy, it's simple, you know, if you're getting into graphic design, sports graphics and stuff, I think this could definitely help you out, so, yeah, let me know what y'all think, if this helped y'all at all, and, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all.